Hey there. Today we're going to be talking about this pen. This pen came from X Fountain Pens, um, and this is by a brand I'd never heard of before called Straffen. I'm assuming you should pronounce it the German way. Um, and this, I have, I, I've written down the model because it was fairly long. It's the SG2400 Ice. Ice also suggests that it's German, German word for ice. Uh, that was difficult, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, fascinating pen. This thing has got some interesting stuff going for it. Um, again, never heard of the brand. Straffen is a little bit odd because um, the, the Dutch verb straffen, spelled the same way, means to punish. So I'm not sure whether you're supposed to punish people with this pen. This looks like a medieval torture device that you could put in some pressure points and hurt someone or something. I don't know. I don't know how they came up with it. But in any case, it's a fascinating pen. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'm going to tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And then I'll do writing sample. By the way, this is a um, fantastic cup because it has holes there and you can actually put your pen in there. Is that freaking awesome? Is that freaking awesome? Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Anyway, the pen. Pass the pen. Let's start at the cap. The top of the cap. Look at that. It's that medieval torture device. See that? Fascinating. It looks a little bit... When I think of, oh, I don't know, Taj Mahal maybe? All these sort of um, far eastern domes. That's that's what this pen reminds me of. The whole thing with all those bands and stuff. Um, we have the clip. Clip has a little ball to make it slide easy into your pocket. You got all these nice little bands on the cap. We have the barrel. The barrel is strongly tapered, as you can see. Let me zoom out a bit so you can see it a bit better. Strongly tapered down. Um, and yes, it, it can be posted. It's a little top heavy because it's so tapered there, and then you add, add that, that big cap. Okay. You have the section, has another big band, and you have the nib. The nib looks pretty cool, I think. It says Straffen M for medium, clearly. There was a converter with the pen. Uh, that is a um, uh, converter. I've seen a lot of Chinese pens, uh, they, they work well. Um, and you know, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. So you have that interesting thing. What about the section? So the section has that, that ring in there. Uh, you can hold that. As you can see, this is the size of the pen. It's not a huge pen, exactly. It's not that small either. You can post it, and it's definitely bigger. And as I said, a bit top-heavy. Okay, what do I like about it, and what do I not like about it? Well, I think the pen has a lot going for it in, the, in terms of design. It has a lot of things that I have not seen in a lot of pens. If you just look at the shape of the cap and then add all those bands, I'm sure that's not going to work for everyone. But, you know, it's definitely original. Also, by the way, that clip is nice and pleasant to use, nice and springy. It is indeed, with that ball, fairly easy to slide into pockets or something. So I think that's quite cool. Um, so the design is interesting. you got that strong taper of the barrel. I think it's quite fascinating. Um, those are things I like about it. The white color. Some people really love white pens. I'm not a particular fan. I'm not a particular hater either. I just, I don't, you know, I think it looks kind of nice. It's called ice, uh, so it, it's probably supposed to be a bit of a cooled, cool-looking pen. Things I don't like about it. As I said, top heaviness when posted, and it's not a huge pen to start with, so I would prefer to use this posted, it does get a bit top heavy. Um, all those rings, etc., that or the bands just makes it a bit heavier. Um, for me, the biggest issue with the pen is the section. Uh, it looks really cool, but that band, that ring there, I, I, to be honest, I find it quite annoying. Because, I mean, I, I have pretty big fingers, you know, uh, and when I hold this, I just feel that ring all the time. And it's pleasant for a short while, but for extended writing sessions, I start to slide around, and my middle finger is, is feeling the edges of that, that band, and I find it particularly nice. Now, what I, what I have found out is that if I slide my fingers all the way to the front, so I really put them right there, like this, then it's a bit better. I still feel the ring, 
but it is a bit better. So that is one thing you could do um, if, if you want to have the pan but you find it a little bit hot. Also you can move your fingers back a bit. There's a bit more space and then you would, would hold it like this. And then you will feel the edges of the barrel a bit, which are not extremely sharp. You can just feel them a bit. So I think it's a very fascinating pen. Again, just for the looks, I think it's very nice, very cool. Um, let's take a couple of measurements. I'm assuming it's not going to be the lightest of pens, considering it has so much metal on there. Yeah, I come down to a good 40 grams. Let's take a look at the size. Length capped, I would say, is 139 millimeters. Um, uncapped. I can't, I guess, let me see, I get 121 millimeters, not that small, but it's definitely not huge. Section, where do I measure this? Let me just take the narrowest bit I can find, that's about 8 millimeters, the widest bit is just over 10, um, that's just below the barrel. And that's all there's to it. I hope this was useful, I think we need a writing sample next, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with that Strafen GS. No, wait, it, sorry, it was SG2400 medium. The ink is De Atramentis. This is their document series. I'm going to call that Document Turkis. I'll show you the bottle in a second. Someone sent this to me, for which I require him much thanks. I'm obliged, much thanks. Uh, De Atramentis, this is the actual German label, Documenten Tinta Turkis, 35 milliliters. Um, quite cool ink, look at that. Very interesting color, um, because that's actually the ink. Um, I think it's, it's pretty cool, a nice turquoise. Uh, first thing I notice is that um, for a medium nib, I think it's definitely on the broad side. Also fairly wet. I also notice a few skips here and there. So I might fine-tune this nib a bit. You see a skip there. You saw that? Oop, there we go. Skip in the Z. But okay, okay. That's okay. Do a bit of fast writing. And as expected, the skipping gets more pronounced, especially on the upstrokes, as you can see there. Wetness, as I said, somewhat on the broad side. But fairly dry, dries fairly quickly. Now that could be a property of the ink because it's document ink. Maybe they wanted that to be quick dry. If they did, they succeeded. A bit of um, line variation, perhaps. I can definitely squeeze some out, as you can see there. So that's quite cool if you like that sort of thing. I'm reversing the nib now. And as you can see, writing gets even drier. Uh, and to the point where it's almost no ink flow. So there you have it. I hope this. Whoops! I hope this was useful. And uh, medieval torture device. Mm. I hope that was useful. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye.